After hearing so much about the famous Full Moon Festival in Soundati, we drove four hours out of town to catch the first day of this month-long celebration of Yelima. Just up there in the centre of that big arch is the face of the goddess Yelima. That's the entrance to her temple here in Saudati. Over the course of the 28 days, more than half a million people will pass through the temple doors. A heaving shantytown springs up around the famous Yelima Shrine. The place is filled with garish Hindu icons, Bollywood music, sticky sweets, and the symbolic red and yellow colours of the goddess Yelima. Hello, nice to meet you. We're not allowed, we're not going to take the camera inside. No, no, no. no. We go inside uh, by our permissions here. This is the Yelima temple, which is like the main attraction of Saudati. It's here that for hundreds and hundreds of years, all the Devadasi girls have come for their dedication ceremonies, which are now illegal. Um, we're not allowed in, so we just have to shoot from outside. But you can see hundreds of people walking around, <laughs> praying to the goddess. Everything around the temple is really, really colourful, and you've got all these red and yellow dyes which the women put on their foreheads, and this is to kind of represent the goddess Yelima. And the green bangles are in rows all along the side of the road here, and they're the bangles that they put on the girls during the Devadasi dedication ceremonies. And tonight is the moon celebration, and they'll smash their bracelets as a symbol of widowhood. This is also um, one of the places where the women traffickers come and pick up potential prostitutes. The brothel madams will travel from big cities like Bombay and Pune and come to Saudati to these festivals to pick up young girls to traffic. Amidst all the religious fervour, there was a distinct feeling of secrets going on behind closed doors. Families are offered a generous fee in return for their young daughters, often under the pretense of a better future. But it's here that the next generation of young Devadasi prostitutes are found. What we really wanted to do was watch a real dedication ceremony, but that didn't look like it was going to happen. And as a bunch of pasty Westerners with cameras, we weren't exactly inconspicuous. Luckily, we met an ex-Devadasi and social activist called Situa. She agreed to stage a mock dedication ceremony to give us an idea of what really goes on behind the scenes. Yallam gudu karkon baroda. Ille. Ille saudatti yallam gudu karkon banda. Ah, hudigi ye hasar bade hakwada. Hasar siri udsoda. Ah, guldali kalungra mata jaga irtete. Jaga. On the Tambigi, Tambigi Maga on the Tangin Kaita, Adana Bajukitara, Ahudigi Ilkunstara Mata, Aid the Jana Hiri, Hirer Deoda Shatan, Maji Deoda Shatan, and Hirer Tarla, our Aid the Jana Kode, Ahudigi Mutkata Ahudigi Mutkate, and the Mata Kiva Hiltara. Here is Nantara, Ada, I am Mutkatandra, I keep Deoda Shatara. Deoda Shad Nantara are the Urkogi and the Dordeka Tarika, Hanad Varshka Girbodo, Hanon Varshka Nagbo, the Landra, last Hadmur Varshka Dordeka Tarre. Dordeka Nantara, our Titan Dianto, Bere the Deoda Shan Makitarla, our Yella Hatar, Namuga, Nan Mugger Hing Dordeka Gadalo Aki Yarner Gunsen Karkon Bernima, Athan Hater. First again, I used to do Kortan Watan the Hede, Ilandra Gurdalino Katbodo. Lander do dust up for Bodo. Etherella Banda or a first hour holder. Leaving Soundati, we felt disturbed by everything we'd seen. The bright colours and energy of the festival were overshadowed by the seedy reality of a religious ceremony that condones child prostitution. Our last stop before we headed home was in the small village of Sarol, where we'd arranged to meet three generations of Devadasi women, all from the same family. When we arrived, we were told that the daughter had recently died of HIV. I was born in 
ನಮ್ಮ ಬಡವರು ಇದು ತಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ತಾಯಿ ಅರಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಾಗ ನಾವು ಹೋಗಿದ್ದೀವಿ ರೀ ಹಾಟಿಗೆ ಬಿಟ್ಟಾರೆ ಅವರು ನಾವು ಮಾಡೋದು ಮುಟ್ಟೋದು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರಿ ಅರ್ವಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಬಂದು ಕೆರೆಂದ ಎಲ್ಲ ಇತ್ತು ಹೊಲ ಇತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಹಿರಿಯರ್ದು ಅಜ್ಜಿ ಅರ್ದ ಕೂಸುಗಳು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹಾದಿವು ನಮ್ಮ ಬಡತಾನಿತ್ತು ಆಗ ಹಚ್ಕೊಟ್ರೆ ಅವರು ಹೋಗಿ ತರ್ತೀವಿ ಹಣ್ಣುಗಳು ತಾಂಬುಗಳು ತಾಯಿಗಳು ತಿಂತಾರು ತಿಂದು ಮ್ಯಾಗ ಹಂಗೆ ಉಗದು ಬಿಡ್ತಾರು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಕೊಡ್ರಿಪ್ಪ ದೇವದಾಸಿ ನನ್ನ ಮಗಳಿದ್ರೆ ಆಕೆ ಸಾತಲ್ಲ ರೀ ಆ ಎರಡು ಮಕ್ಕಳ ತೊಗೊಂಡು ನಾನು ಜೋಪಾನ ಆಗಾಕತ್ತೀವು ಮಗಳು ಸಾತ್ ಮ್ಯಾಗ ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತೆರಡು ಸಾವಿರ ರೂಪಾಯಿ ದೇನೇ ಆತ ಇವ ಮಮ್ಮಕ್ಳಿಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲಿದ್ದು ಏನು ತರಲಿತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಕೆಲ ಜಮ್ಕೊಂಡು ಹೋಗ್ತೀವಿ ಮತ್ತು ಅಂದಾಗ ಅವ್ರು ಹಾಟ ತುಂಬೋದು ರೀ ನಾವು ಕೂತಿರ್ತೀವಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಕೂತ್ಗಳು ಯಾಕೆ ನಾನು ನಾನು ಬರ್ತಾರೆ ಹತ್ತು ಇಪ್ಪತ್ತು ಕೊಟ್ಟಗಳು ನಾವು ನಾವು ಶಾಂತಿ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ತೊಗೊಂಡು ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ಹಿಂಗೆ ದೇವದಾಸಿ ಆತಂದಕ್ಕೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ನತ್ತ ತಂದೆವು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಗಳಿಸೋದು ಹಿಂಗೆ ಮಾಡೋದು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿದ್ರಿ ಸಾಹೇಬ್ರ ಎಲ್ಲಮ್ಮನ ಹೆಸರುಗೊಂಡು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಬಿಡ್ತಾರೆ ರೀ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕೆರೆಂದ ಅಡ್ಡಾಡಿ ಸೊರಗ್ಯಾಡಿ ನಾ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಸೊರಗಾಡ್ತೈತೆ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಸೊರಗಾಡಿ ಬಂದು ತಿನ್ನೋದು ಹೊಲಸ್ತನ ಮಾಡಿ ತಿನ್ನೋದು ಅಕಿ ಹೆಸರು ಬದಲ ಜೋಳಿಗೆ ಅಂದು ಜೋಳ ಬಿಕ್ಕಿ ಬೇಡಾರು ಬಂದಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ರೀ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ನಾವು ಏನು ಕೊಡ್ತಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಈಗ ನಮಗೆ ಆದ್ರೆ ನಾವು ಕರ್ದು ಕೆರೆ ತೊಗೋತೀವಿ ರೀ ನಮ್ದು ಜಾತಿ ಮಾ ಮುಂದಿದ್ದು ಈ ಥಣಿ ಬಾರಿದು ಈಗ ದೇವದಾಸಿ ಆಗೋದು ಬೇಡ India is a land of extremes, polarized by extravagant new wealth and ancient poverty. Everywhere you look, there's a battle being waged between the traditional forces of religion, caste and superstition and the inevitable force of Western capitalism. Nowhere are these clashes more evident than in the plight of the Devadasis, where religious devotion has been exploited for commercial gain. The Devadasi tradition is destroying families and communities, generation after generation. And with the advent of AIDS and HIV, the practice now has a deadly price tag. Today, any remnants of the Devadasi's cultural origins have all but disappeared. All that's left is a system that turns children into prostitutes and their parents into pimps. Just this one chemical, bisphenol A, that is used to make these hard, clear plastic called polycarbonate is produced at over 7 billion pounds a year, and it's a non-recyclable plastic. What's happening to it? It's being thrown away into the environment. The evidence from Europe, mm -hmm. Asia, the United States, is that every person examined has these chemicals in their bodies. There is actually a study in Japan where women with elevated levels of bisphenol A were the women who were repeatedly miscarrying, never able to have a successful pregnancy. When you go out into the ocean and you see that the ocean is full of these plastic products, where in the world is there not exposure to them 